nice clean shot there, right through the head. So I got that one through the neck there. So shot that just below the eye there. I've got a position here, I just bring it straight up, hit my thumb and the light's on and it's just uh, brilliant. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm going to do a feral pest control video where I'm going to be out controlling rabbits and hares. Now here on the farm, um, not only from a feral pest control point of view do I control these animals, but also, um, you know, I make use of the carcass as well. Um, you know, I don't leave anything behind really. I use the meat there for dog meat. Coop loves it when it's cooked up and uh, that way nothing goes to waste. Now what I'll do first of all is just show you the lighting system that I'm using. So I'm using the uh, Warrior X from Olight. Now obviously it's a really good uh, torch that I rate highly if you've seen my individual review of it. And I just find it's a nicely sized torch that's not going to be over intrusive you know, when it's on the front of a firearm. Now I'm going to be using this obviously on the Chris Defiance which is the AR15 and 22. So I don't want something massive, yet I want something with enough uh, power so that I can light up an area easily out to 100 yards. So I find this torch very good for that. So I've taken off the uh, clip, the pocket clip there, and uh, just one of the uh, rings because obviously when you're using the mount it needs to be able to slip over and um, you know attached to the body of the torch there. So this mount that I've got is uh, applicable for any Picatinny rail really and it's their uh, conventional flashlight mount. Now the model number on this one is E-WM25. Now what I really like about this is the fact that you can just tighten it um, with your finger. You know all you need to do is pull out, turn anti-clockwise to loosen it, pull out, turn clockwise to tighten it and the teeth actually grip onto the uh, base point there so it becomes very tight when it's secure. So I really like that. The other thing I'm going to show you here is uh, one of their um, pressure switches or remote switches. Now they've got different types, ones where you can actually take off the tail cap of the torch and screw on a uh, pressure switch but this one in particular is a magnetic one so and it's very strong if you hear you know how that snaps together. So I'm pulling on that, pulling on it, pulling on it. You've got to honestly give it a fair yank for it to come off. So do I think it'll stay put in the field? Yes, I do. For me personally though, I'm not a massive fan of pressure switches. I don't mind them in uh, certain circumstances. But um, when I'm out sort of hunting and that, I don't really like cords um, you know that can get caught up on trees and stuff if I'm actually moving around in the scrub So for this particular purpose, I'm just going to use the uh, conventional uh, Mount and the torch by itself. We won't use a pressure switch, but I just wanted to show you that anyway Okay, so to put the mount on all you need to do is just take off the uh, tail cap there for the torch now just push in here and it'll give you clearance to be able to slip this over the body of the torch there. Put the tail cap back on. Okay, so I've got the uh, Chris Defiance here. All we need to do is just pull out so it's loose to be able to put that mount onto the Picatinny rail and just pull out and tighten it and let it go. And you'll feel it when it gets really tight. And then once it's secure, like honestly, nothing's gonna move it. It's rock solid locked in there beautifully. So as you can see there, there's no way that that torch is just going to fall out or be pulled out. So this is what I like guys, I like to be able to carry the rifle, okay, and then when I see something, you know, I just simply hit my uh, thumb on it and activate the torch. That's simple. So I really like the setup. So anyhow guys, look, let's um, leave it probably about another hour. Um, the sun's just gone down, so we need it to be a little bit darker before all the rabbits and hares come out. And uh, yeah, we'll go out and hopefully grab a couple and um, we'll cook them up for coop. Yep. Did you get it? Yep, sure did. So we got a nice clean shot there, right through the head.
So I got that one through the neck there. Okay, so shot that just below the eye there. Okay guys, so as you can see we've got um, three hairs here for a snappy meal for Coop. Now, um, look, I'm pretty happy with this rifle. I mean, uh, you know, shots there were from uh, 50 yards to just over 100 yards. And uh, yeah, the rifle just performs brilliantly. Yeah, just using a red dot there, guys. I've said it so many times in my reviews, so I guess uh, it's nice to do this because it's an example of how you just don't need something with massive magnification to shoot at hunting distances. The Chris Defiance, I'm just absolutely in love with. This rifle is just so cool. The uh, conventional mount and the Olight Warrior X is just a great addition to it because where I've got it positioned here, I just bring it straight up, hit my thumb, and the light's on, and it's just uh, brilliant. It's got more power than uh, the Olight Warrior M2R, so obviously this is more for a hunting application when that other uh, Olight Warrior M2R is more for, you know, like room entries, that sort of thing, you know, it's more of a tactical use uh, or home security where this has definitely got a uh, hunting application to it. So anyhow, guys, look, I'm gonna uh, get to it now, skin and gut these ones and uh, prep them for coop and uh, we'll leave it at that. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and we'll do more like this in the future. Okay guys, till next time, we'll catch you then.